What happens if I die? What happens if the wolf comes up here? Is he going to eat me? Possibly. Can I feed him a snack? Maybe he'll be my best friend. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. What is going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome to Eco. Now, this game came out um, a little, it came out a while ago, but I've always wanted to check it out, and I always thought it was kind of interesting. So, we're going to hop in today. We're going to take a first look. We're going to kind of see what it's about. Um, I really like these first look type videos, and you guys know that because, like, I do a lot of them, but I like the first looks because it's like my first impressions, what I think of the gameplay, like, immediately, you know, the things that you could possibly expect in your first, you know, 30 minutes to hour play. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's hop in. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like if you you do oh my gosh there is a choose a world to join no thank you can i have my own world host your own world uh, allow friends to join create meter impact no <laughs> no 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 generate random landscape mm, now nah, we're fine wait no collaboration low collaboration high collaboration 30 plus players oh my gosh Let's do low collab. I don't think I'm going to be playing with anybody, but in case we do, um, I do know that this game is, uh, of course, it's Zootopia, of course. Or actually, no, it's Zootopia, not Z1topia, because that just doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, I do know that this game is like, much, it's, it's better to play with people. And uh, yeah, we might check that out. I don't know, we'll have to see, but let's go ahead, let's get started. Let's see what this is about. Now, from what my understanding is, is that you want to create a thriving place a thriving empire buildings whatever civilization without destroying the entire ecosystem in the process which is kind of cool kind of different uh because there's things you're gonna want to do you know you're gonna want to have some kind of uh you know like possibly oil or you know power power is typically the thing that like destroys everything right um okay let's do a masculine body uh can we just like randomize is there a randomize there there's not a randomize option all right let's go ahead <laughs> i'm a ghost i'm just kidding all right so uh yeah sure uh does it really matter oh gosh we can be like a perfect wait can i get can i get us to be red oh we're red kind of ish let's just let's just keep it regular i you know what i don't ever uh, okay i thought it should be red Oh god, we're gonna look like the devil. <laughs> I don't care. It's fine. <gasps> Clothing. Uh, shirt must be red. That has to be red. Okay. Uh, belt probably black. Boop. Pants absolutely black. Uh, shoes absolutely red, without a doubt. Perfect. This one's not quite red enough. There we go. There we go. Uh, hat. Oh, do we have a hat? Um, the hat should be black as well. Okay. All right, that looks good. Backpack? Oh, that's... No, that has to be black as well. Okay, all right. Look at us! We're looking fancy! Uh, okay, now I don't like my eye color. That eye color is going to bother me until the end of time. Is there... Can we just get, like, a, a brown? That That's fine. Okay, that, that looks good. That's fine. That's good enough. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we're in. We're doing the things. Welcome to Eco Civilization, Citizen. Uh, around you is a living ecosystem rich with plants, animals, and natural resources. Let's take a look around. A uh, whole tab to toggle the mouse cursor on and off. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, Can I get rid of that? Fantastic. Space to jump. Okay. Oh, so you tapped it. Oh, okay. All right, we did it. Look at that. My gosh. Task complete. Uh, Now what do I do? Oh, dear. We got some tutorial stuff going on here. I guess what is this? Brace yourself and look up. There's something already in the sky. Find the meteor in the sky. Uh, okay. Pretty sure I disabled that, but that would be fine. There's the sun. I don't see a meteor anywhere. Do you guys see a meteor? I don't see one. I think we got rid of it. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, setting up camp. The first step is to find an appropriate place to set up your camp. It's probably a good idea to find a location close to natural resources such as food, surface stone, or trees. Open your backpack uh, with B or by clicking the backpack icon. Drag the starter camp into your toolbar and select it. Place the starting camp down and in a good location. All righty. Fantastic. Can I close this now? So let's see here. Uh, trees. Got it. Gosh, we cannot run very fast, can we? Oh, gosh. I feel like we... I feel like this is like a... Oh gosh, this this sound effects were scary. They were super scary. Uh, I feel like we're like barely jaunting, and then like the run is like actually walking. Okay, so we got looks like food. Oh, we got food. Heck yes. Okay, so we got food right there. Uh, ooh, that's a thorny tree. Let's see. Um, hmm. Do we want to start our building over here? I mean, we got stone. We got plenty of wood. This looks like a nice, like you know, a nice area that we wouldn't. 
we wouldn't destroy i guess right away immediately let's do it let's set up camp right here i wish i could run faster this is this is so slow okay so uh start our camp boom bring that in there fantastic uh do have to hit b again okay cool and then i hit three <gasps> there we go and place we've done it we've done something we claim property this is amazing okay all right what do we got oh goodness uh nutrition meter unlocked track calories and nutrients oh i should have just never ticked it and then we would have been good uh nutrition carbs protein fat vitamins oh my gosh this is super in depth holy moly <laughs> get started with eating a balanced diet mouse over the food in your toolbar to examine its nutrients uh carbs four vitamins four calories 250 okay oh my goodness this is gonna be quite interesting eat food containing carbohydrates i consumed it eat food containing protein does this contain protein no i don't think i have food containing protein do i oh that guy right there looks like he's full of protein you guys full of protein over there can i harvest this what do i get is that a yucca plant is that protein oh it's got protein uh oh okay so that's like a oh, oh okay all right interesting sleeping while you're playing a single player or on a server with fast forward enable you can speed up the passive time by sleeping in a bed you can sleep on any bed sleep at any bed including the one inside your starter camp try sleeping for a bit before to pass a bit of time okay okay all right you know what this whole system is kind of gonna mess me up a little bit but we're gonna figure it out all right so sleep put papaya into campsite no we're gonna sleep real time past zero minutes uh okay wake up i'm done we're good we slept we did the things it's not daytime anymore though that's unfortunate okay what do we got here property normally when you place objects they will be public unless they are placed on land that you own fortunately you already own land around your camp building a house uh building houses and objects outside of your own land will allow anyone to interact with them open your tent by looking at it and pressing e navigate to the authorization tab open the authorization ui by clicking the property name okay so uh let's go get out of that uh e looking in our tent e okay uh authorization this campsite belongs to me yay we did it okay cool is that it did we do the things opening offer i did i not do that i did that i i opened the ui i did it i promise i did authorization by clicking the property name uh-huh i i did that oh z wants gaming square <gasps> there we go uh okay so who can access it add user property on deed okay okay all right all right neato now tools we're gonna need tools navigate to the storage tab uh open your tent looking at it navigate to storage drag the stone axe on your toolbar and select it all right so uh storage and what does it want the stone pickaxe or stone axe you know what i don't really know let's just drag them all down here my gosh we've done it okay now what drag the stone axe to your toolbar and select it got it i have it selected can we chop wood down can we chop some wood i think so Oh yeah, stockpiles. Materials such as log stone are best placed into large stockpiles so they uh, so that crafting tables can use the resources directly. Next to your tent, there's a tiny stockpile suitable for a tiny amount of stuff. Uh, chop a tree until it falls over, chop the felled log into pieces, pick up the pieces, place 10 logs in the stockpile. We can handle that, we can do it, my gosh. All right, let's chop this tree. This could take all day. Timber! <laughs> you timber! Oh, geez. Uh, okay, so this we need to chop this Okay, we're good Now it wants us to put those uh, pick up the pieces with the E place 10 logs into the stockpile. Okay, we can handle that All right stockpile put log into tiny stockpile Holy moly, we grabbed a lot of logs. That was a lot of logs. Okay task complete Well, I'm gonna get the rest of them because like might as well We just gotta make them smaller. Okay, I pick up that one that one we can carry 20 logs. We are like super strong. Oh my gosh. Look at all those logs. Okay, cool. We've done that. <gasps> yeah. Okay. I don't, I can't find the meteor. I'm sorry. Uh, crafting is done through a system called work orders. Hewn logs. Okay. Work orders can be queued up and rearranged as they progress. Okay. Work orders will use nearby tables and storage to fill full, fulfill work orders. Okay. Storage links can be managed by interacting with the tables next sounds good you can order more products than you have ingredients for that's super nice so you can like queue stuff up that's cool okay so it wants me to craft a workbench so order one workbench um okay all right so it's making the workbench 
Now, what is this? Claiming land. Oh, we got to do land claims and all that stuff. Do I, I don't really need to because like it's just me, myself, and I. But hey, I guess in case we ever venture out. Uh, to claim land, you need to use land claim stake with a consumable land claim papers. Get the land claim papers from your tent. Put them in your backpack. Get the land claim stake. Okay, let's just do it. All right, we got a land claim stake. So that's my current area. Claim some land by right clicking with the... You can also unclaim land with left click. Okay, so... I'm guessing this means this is already claimed. This plot is already public. Oh, no. Okay. Right click. Oh, it expands out a little bit. That's kind of cool. Okay, so do I have to put it like that? It does expand out further. Oh, it does indeed. It's actually kind of cool. I kind of like that. It's like super simple, you know? Not Nothing too crazy. Uh, so if I do another one here, and then I do another one here, Oh, we're claiming all the lands. That's good enough. It's good enough. <laughs> all right, material processing. In order to construct a building, raw materials must be processed into more usable forms. Of course, place a, place down a workbench. Uh, find the hewn log recipe. Select the number craft order. Place the crafted hewn logs into the stockpile. Easy enough. All right, I don't need those anymore. I need this. Fantastic. Uh, let's grab this guy. And we'll place it like right... I don't know where the front of it's at. What's the front of it? Is this the front of it? Looks like the front of it. There! Yeah! We've done it! Okay, so hewn logs. That's what they want us to get. Hewn log. Okay, so let's go ahead and order... Uh, let's get four of them. Sure. All right. And then pick up the completed hewn logs from the stockpile. Okay, we can handle that. And what does this want us to do? Uh, moving rocks requires two steps. Breaking them into smaller pieces with a pickaxe and then picking it up the pieces like everything else does. Okay. <laughs> Target some limestone, sandstone, shale, or granite, and or granite. And left click to break it apart. Pick up the pieces. Okay, that's fantastic. What's this? Digging. Uh, as you lay out your settlement, you'll want to be able to begin transforming your island. Use a shovel to move dirt. Target around. Okay, cool. That all seemed pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to lie. So, let's go find some stuff. Uh, what time is it? Should we sleep so it's daytime? Let's do that. Let's just, let's just do a quick snooze till it's daytime. All right, we're good. Wake up. Wake up. All right, so, oh, beautiful daytime. Oh, it looks so good. Let's get a pickaxe out. Let's go get some stone in here. <gasps> Can we build into the side of a mountain like Minecrafty style? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Are there physics in this game? Uh, now I'm curious. Maybe there's not. All right, somebody needs to mow the grass around here. This is this is awful. Trying to trying to see through everything. All right, uh, place limestone. <gasps> yeah, look at that. Okay, we did the things. Oh, we gotta grab our hewn logs now too. Uh, oh, it's not in the workbench, is it? It's probably in the tent storage. Uh, storage. In logs, there they are. My gosh, we've done it. And we'll go ahead and place those in there. Task complete. Wonderful. Now, what do you want to build? Many crafting stations in eco required enclosed rooms to work. Building requires both a hammer and a material to place blocks. Okay. Uh, the hammer can place different forms of the same material. Change the form with shift and scroll wheel. All right, that's good to know. In order to be considered a, a room, a few rules must follow. Maximum of two blocks of empty space in walls. Okay. No holes in the roof at all. Okay, I already got the stone hammer. It's already done. Boom, right there. Select the block form you want to build uh, the logs by selecting it in the toolbar as shown. Remember, you can scroll. Okay. Do I have to pick up stuff? No, I already have some. I don't see anything on the toolbar to select. Oh, okay, there we go. And then shift. Oh, cube, roof, column. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. All right, so well, hold on. Is there a floor? Doesn't look like there's a floor. So let's go with, uh, let's go with walls. Now I'm guessing, oh. I could make floors like that. Is it Q and R? No. It's not all the logs to beginning begin forming your room. Okay, so if I do if I do this, uh, place. Then I want to place one here. <gasps> oh, it all kind it kind of like auto snaps. Got it. Ah, oh, super cool. That's easy enough. Okay, so what is this thing now? Collect more wood. Craft it. Hewn logs fully enclose a room with walls and ceilings. Rooms, uh, rooms can have small gaps 
one or two spaces wide for doors and windows okay cool that is pretty neat let's get uh let's get working on let's get working on a wooden a nice little wooden shack here shall we oh no our storage is completely full <laughs> darn it uh can we just place these there we go <laughs> my storage is full i don't know how to make more storage how do i make more storage i need a uh i need a storage deal all right we're, we're getting a basic frame here uh wait hold on a second uh building that's right uh boop and boop okay look at we got we got a thing we got like a squareical looking building it's amazing isn't it i know it's a good first building i like it now we have to do a lot of this my gosh now i don't know if there's like a flooring though i'm kind of curious about that um not positive i don't know if there's like a crafting menu or like where where it says like everything you can make so i mean i guess i could make um mm, oh floor interesting Wait, what happens if i place it there no see i want it i need it to be lower do i have to have it up off the ground like this i can't place it like in the ground well, that's gonna be weird well we have to have a floor which means i'm gonna have to have stairs going in and out of here oh goodness me that's gonna be uh oh dear that's that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting um you know what let's pick these up let's turn these into floors <gasps> oh no i'm too hungry to work oh no oh there we go okay we're good we're good i think all right let's get some let's get some of that in our life uh how are we looking professional experience uh profession experience per day calories 500 out of 3000 but i can't consume any more of those okay maybe uh hold on let's go to my backpack should have yucca fruit we'll do that and then uh consume this there we go how are we looking now 689 okay all right so it takes <laughs> it takes calories to work wonderful okay we got a floor started <laughs> It started. Oh my gosh, it's gonna require so much wood to do this. It's fine though. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. So I, I may have just destroyed my yucca fruit plant by timbering this tree. That's it's fine. We got we got more. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm too hungry to work again. Oh my gosh. 250, 250, 250, 250. Okay, we should be good now. <laughs> we're gonna have to get this whole food thing under control here. All right, so while that does that, we're gonna take a quick sleep, uh, a snooze, if you will, until daytime. And then we gotta go out and find some food because I'm gonna be running low on everything. All right, so we had some like yucca or uh, papayas up here. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna try to find these. Can I jump up this? Oh, I can, look at that. Ooh, those look like peppers. Uh, they're probably not. They're probably just like flowery little plants. Uh, Okay, so these don't come back immediately. That's good to know. <gasps> oh, there's a pond. We could totally go fishing here, maybe. Uh, I'm hopefully fishing would actually probably be a pretty good thing for food, especially for uh, for some proteins, you know. Ooh, there's a full desert over here. That's kind of cool. <gasps> there's a fox. Hey, what do you say? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my gosh, we found the papaya overloads. Three papayas. Three more papayas. Look at this. Check this out. You ready? Look at. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. They're absolutely. We found a meadow of papayas. This is. Oh my gosh. This is where we're going to be eating forever. We can live off these. I don't care. We don't need carbs. We don't need protein. We got papayas. Oh yes. We have 54 papayas. That's going to last me the rest of the afternoon. My goodness. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is a, this is a fantastic area right here. Now I would like to make some pathways, uh, go into places that we're going to be frequenting because like walking is the slowest thing ever if you're not on a like some kind of pathway or something like that and i don't know if there's like a pathway block i'm guessing there probably is um it'd be also nice to make like a staircase going up to this little pond right here i don't know what we can do in this can i go in here oh that's scary never mind i quit uh i can't get out let me out let me out i can't get out i'm stuck forever i made a mistake is that a shark why does that look like a shark Okay, we're out. Oh my gosh, never do that again. Can we fish? Is there a fishing pole? That would be really nice if there was. All right, let's get back to our base. Yeah, see if we just made like a nice little staircase going right up here, going that way. Oh, is that a pineapple? Oh, we got a pineapple. Yeah. Another pineapple? Yes, two more pineapples. Oh, I didn't even look on the ground for pineapples. Holy moly, pineapples, papaya. This, is, this place is delicious. Now, I do know that we got some seeds in here, too. Uh, so we have Joshua seeds, plants to grow Joshua trees, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, we've got prickly pear fruit. Oh, that's okay. Then we have that. Where did the seeds go? What are these? What seeds are these? Papaya seeds. Okay, let's put those in there. We only have two papaya seeds? Oh my gosh, out of all the papayas we got, we got 50 something. We got two seeds, that's it? All right, so those things are like gold. Jeez. How is my calories looking? 505 out of 3,000? Okay, all right. Well, that's wonderful. But like, look how much faster I can run on this. Like, it's great. It's almost like a brisk walk. <laughs> all right, so let's grab uh, let's grab some stuff. Let's get some walls in here. Nine. Oh, it doesn't look like I can make that much. Um, okay, hold on. No, we got to get the hammer. The hammer. We've got a foundation. Oh, it feels good. It feels good to have a foundation. All right, let's get some walls now. Um, okay, so let's do wall. Fantastic. And we'll go ahead and get walls in here. All right, we got the start of walls. We got the start of walls. Oh my gosh. It's expensive. Like, it's no joke. You have to actually use as many logs as you think you would in real life. It's terrible. <laughs> I just went through 50. I went through 50 of these things just for this. Oh my goodness. And I need at least another uh, 100 more. Okay, so I got to be really careful with these prickly pear things because these are like right now my only source of protein like whatsoever. So I'm trying to make sure that I don't destroy these plants. Oh God, you scared me. Rams, you scared the bejesus out of me. <gasps> are there sharks in that water? I bet there is. Oh gosh, hopefully there's not. Uh, okay, so I got to do this carefully. That's a wolf. That is 100% a wolf. That is 150,000% a wolf. Uh, What happens if I die? What happens if the wolf comes up here? Is he going to eat me? Possibly. Can I feed him a snack? Maybe he'll be my best friend. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Uh, okay, let's go in the storage. Let's throw some things. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I want to put store. I want to put stuff back in here. There we go. All right, we're going to go. We're going to go check out this wolf. I'm not going to do. I'm not bringing anything with me, though, whatsoever. Uh, ooh, food. Uh, can I make a storage chest? Uh, no, 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 no. Wake up. Wrong, wrong buttons. Uh, I can't have any more storage though, can I? No. Can I make a storage box? Uh, let's see. Okay, we got projects here. Arrow, bow, campfire. Ah, there's bows and arrows. Of course, it's going to attack me. You know what? I don't even want to find out. I already know it's going to attack me. That's fine. Oh, a fishery. What? Ooh, hewn long masonry table. Process, 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 property. Uh, stockpile. Oh, there we go. There's the stockpiles. Stone hammer, storage chest. Order that up. Absolutely. Can I move this in queue up here? Yeah, that's more important. Much more important. A store? <gasps> that looks super cool. I actually really want a fishery too. Um, Let's see. Let's get the fishery out here. Fishery. Order one of those guys as well. Put that in front of those. So hopefully it'll take priority over these. You know, I don't know. I have no idea. But you know what? That's going to end this episode, guys. This is our first look. Checking out Eco. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. It's kind of neato, kind of interesting. And I'm curious to see. God, I want to play a little bit more. I want to see how it goes. Um, but I could definitely see that this is this would be great multiplayer. This is a 100% a fantastic multiplayer because everybody would be able to help each other out. Or uh, it looks like that you can make stores and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool too. So um, yes, but thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you had a fantastic time. If you did, please like, subscribe, all the fun things. <gasps> I'll see you in the next one.